Sim racing is one of the most enjoyable and immersive video game genres that are currently out there. And it is incredibly enjoyable if you have yourself a wheel and a pedal set. Even if it is the budget entry, but yet very trusty Thrustmaster T150, which I currently have here on my desk setup. But it doesn't matter if you have even the best equipment. If you have the wrong settings in the game, it doesn't matter what you you're, have in your rig or on your desk. It's going to drive like crap. So hopefully I can share my settings that I have in ACC in 2022. That really works well with me and I hope it works really well with you. What's up everybody, it's Quick Street here, just cruising around in my McLaren at Zolder, doing a few pra pla pla practice laps with a few other drivers from the Westside Sim Racing Club. We uh, do in simracing.gp, we have a league going on, a link to their YouTube channel is right up above, go check them out. If you are especially in North America and you're looking for late night race leagues, this one is one of the latest ones that I can come across outside of the iRacing environment. So, but as the title of this video states, we are going to be taking a look at the settings that I am currently using with my T150. Um, I figured I'd put this video out before I pass on my T150 to a friend of mine because we are going to be doing a slight upgrade with some uh, other Thrustmaster stuff. And it's probably going to be the T300, so a lot of these settings are, should also work for the T300s. So we're going to get into the initial part of it, which is going to be inside the Thrustmaster control panel. I'm just going to show you two little screenshots here of the test input, uh, the steering rotation. I keep this at 900 degrees. Uh, I suggest you do the same as and just let in-game deal with the steering lock because you can adjust that as I will show you a little bit later. On the third tab called Game Settings, this is also pretty basic. I've seen some people you know, play with these numbers or they drop the spring out because there is no spring in the T150. I just keep everything at 100%. I did have this down at 75% thinking it would save the my motor a little bit, but between lowering that and tweaking stuff in game it really threw a lot of things off all right so now that we got that easy part out of the way we're going to jump into acc and we're going to take a look at those settings all right so you can find these settings inside of options in the controls area and as you, if you have a wheel it's going to show up right away before we go and talk about the force feedback settings i want to show this off you want to definitely adjust the maximum limit and actually the minimum limit which is this is just the dead zone areas but if you have entry pedals like the t3pa or any potentiometer ones they go bad after a while and if you don't clean them they go bad so as you can see my red one goes up right now it's up to 95 percent so i suggest you tone down the maximum so this way you're not losing a lot of speed do the same for the brakes as well all right, so now into the middle at the force feedback area. These are pretty much all the settings here. So we're just gonna go right down the list, starting off with gain. By default, it's 100%. I turned it down just a little bit. Uh, this is the maximum force output that you're gonna feel through the wheel. A higher gain setting means that there's gonna be more force given. So I haven't experienced a lot of clipping, so I just toned it down a little bit. We're, we're still pretty good there. The minimum force, this is the constant force that's always going to be on your wheel to help keep it centered. For entry wheels like the T150 or any of your Logitechs, I suggest turning it down a little bit. I have, or turning it up, I think it's set at zero as a default. Right now I have it set at 7%. The dynamic dampering is just the effective weight of the car. Uh, for entry level, you're going to want to turn it down, or I actually turned it up. I think some people always say to turn it down to help keep weight on it. Um, but I found 125%, that seems to be pretty good right now. Uh, road effects, this is just how you can feel all the bumps and undulations of the road surfaces, any kind of like the marbles and stuff like that. Uh, T150 is definitely not a direct drive, so you're not going to be feeling a lot of stuff. So 
you don't want to have this too high because then your wheelbase is just going to constantly be shaking. 25% is good enough for me. Uh, the frequency, that's that I kept that as the same as what the T150, I guess, is pushing out. The steering lock. This is the big one, and this is the one I've probably changed the most out of all the settings here. Uh, some people say if you keep this at 900 degrees like you do in the Thrustmaster control panel, the game will automatically adjust your steering lock based on the car that you're driving because each car has a different steering lock. I'll have a list of all the cars and their real life steering that's listed down below. But I just put this to 480 because that is what the McLaren is using right now. So this is what I'm getting used to. Uh, 540 is probably another very common one, but that one I would stick with that right there. Steer linearity and the brake gamma, I think I, I left these as a default. Um, I'm not sure what the brake gamma does, or actually what the steer linearity is. I think that's the relationship between uh, the steering wheel that you, you see in the game, which I wish you could really turn that off. Uh, but that, those are my settings, that's what really works for me. But that about wraps it up. Those are all the settings that you can actually change for force feedback that are inside the game. I hope these are beneficial to you. Please let me know down below if they work for you or if you have any recommendations on what to change. If you also like this video and the other ones on this channel, you know the YouTube thing. Like, click, subscribe, ring bell, blah blah blah. Until next time, I'll see you guys on the flippity flip. Peace out.